perfect for wiping the slate clean, starting afresh and resolving to turn around poor starts to the season. Well, four changes in all to the pack for the Dragons. George Knott, Harry Keddy, Aaron Wainwright among those retain. We'll read Harry Ackerman and then Nairin Owen at 10, 12 and 13. The Rosser brothers are on the wing and it is a 6-2 split on the bench. The Dragons coach, he's brought the axe down on a couple of Wales internationals. No Bradley Roberts or Tane Basham. Well, despite the Boxing Day defeat by the Ospreys, the Scarlets line up in much the same fashion. Two alterations to the pack. Morgan Jones replaces Jack Price at lock. Via Fafita's part of a good-looking back row. Sam Costello appears for the Scarlets for the first time since April. Steph Evans is also fit again to play on the wing. And there are a couple of British and Irish Lions on the bench. The rain teeming down, and I rather suspect, Shane, that inevitably will play some sort of role in the way this match is played. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue, yeah. It, it's, it's awful weather up there. Um... Clearly, Di Flanagan has had one or two question marks about current and recent Wales internationals with those two high-profile players left out of the 23 today, but Aaron Wainwright certainly someone he can depend upon. Very confident kicker, Kay Evans, as well. Well, he certainly found the sweet spot with that one. There it is with Elias. Gareth Davis just uh, giving Longsdale a little bit of a slap across the back. Or was that George Knott? There's Johnny Williams. Referee's now playing an advantage to the Scarlets. Dragons guilty of coming off their feet. Best field position of the match so far, and now the potential of a two-on-one, and out wide there is Rogers, and it's Rogers who gets the first try of the match. Just through the opening quarter. Rogers on the outside. Thank you very much. Oh, there's three defenders there in one channel. Kai Evans has to bite in. Stuck out on the flag, just uh, admiring the weather and not seeing much of the ball and it tends to ask a lot of you. Making a very swift transition, an elevation to professional senior rugby. Benjamin's got it now. They've created lots of good field positions so far. Have the Dragons. Can they make it count? No, 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 you've lost it, out. Green, right on the ground, yeah, on the ground, push. Well, there's the ball for Williams. Here's Keddy. Keddy who scored two tries in that heavy defeat at Cardiff on Boxing Day. Aaron Wainwright, the Centurion. Try line, try line. Advantage. Just an agonizing meter or so between the Dragons and the try line. Can they cross it? The referee says yes. And Aaron Wainwright gets to his feet. How appropriate. Big lump behind in to push him over that line. Well deserved. Make that lead three points. The rain coming down like steroids. Well, this is good from the Dragons. Benjamin, look at that, he's sprinting up to the 22. Arm is out from the referee as well. Lloyd Williams, Aaron Wainwright's coming on this side. Williams to Wainwright. Wainwright with a bit of help from Jared Rosser. There's Rodri Williams again. The ball's gone loose, but who knows? They might be able to create something. That's a Nider in Owen. Yoan Lloyd came through to make the tackle. Here's Harry Keddy. Push, push. Now let's see how clinical the Dragons can be. Yet another foray into the Scarlets 22. They're still playing that penalty advantage. That's not with his hands on it. Okay, he's on his feet, but I'm going back for the mall offense. Another very solid strike. Jones will know every trick in the book and a few more that have yet to be written. Stay there, stay there. Hardy with a pudding. 
Another penalty advantage via Fafita, powers his way forward. The alarm bells are ringing here for the Dragons. There goes Craig. Hardy again. That time it was on to Williams. Here's Jones looking for his first try as a scarlet. The time to go wide, Costello. Here goes Johan Lloyd, fullback, and the Johan Lloyd gets his score. Well, Johan Lloyd playing fullback for the first time since he's joined the Scarlets has got the lead, may well lead to the lead. Yeah, it almost looked like the Scarlets threw all their backs around the left-hand side there that they didn't have the numbers on the Dragons. I'm sure the Dragons defensively had the numbers to cover. This is probably the first time we've seen Johan Lloyd involved in the game, ball in hand. Rosser just takes the dummy there. He doesn't need to take that. He's got to make man and ball. We do have ten minutes remaining, but points hard to come by in these conditions. And Costello has pushed it wide. Ironic cheer of the try scorer, Johan Lloyd. That familiar forward lead, and he's burst right through, and he's got support out wide. And Kieran Hardy takes the Scarlets within nine. Four minutes to go. Well, the ball is there for the Dragons, but the referee blows his whistle. It's there for the Dragons, and it's going to be the former Scarlet. Dane Blacker feeds it back, and Reed bars it onto the corrugated iron roof. And the Dragons have won in the most dramatic of circumstances.